have to make sure I can figure this out. Good morning, everybody. I'm trying to see everybody out there. The chairs are filling up. Hi. So is anybody else excited about the Stepping Stones incentive? Okay, I'm going to ask that again at the end because I'm sure there's going to be more of you excited. So when this was announced in April, I looked at the sheet, thought I had it in my head, put it down as one of the incentives I was going to go for, and then last month figured out that I had it all wrong. So my job today is to make sure that you have a clear idea and you understand exactly what this incentive entails. And for me, after eight years in the business, I believe this is one of the simplest but most exciting incentives. Now, somebody already understands it because they're excited. <laughs> that forever have put on. And why? Because it is achievable for absolutely every single person. It doesn't matter if you're 4CC active or not. This is for everybody. Isn't that exciting? Yes. yes. This side is a little bit more excited than this side. <laughs> That's more like it. Okay, so how many of you are on track or understand it? Just raise your hands. Okay, so that's good. So that's only a handful of people in the room. So hopefully after today, you'll understand that and everybody will be doing this incentive. There's three things I want to talk to you today about. The first thing about this incentive is, and this is important, you heard the girls talking about the products. I'm delighted Aileen mentioned that she is now more busier with the retail side of her business than ever, because it's my belief that people understand the benefits of our product range much more today even than when I joined, that people are banging on the door for the product. So this incentive is based only around your retail and your personal use of the product. It does not include sponsoring people and it doesn't include sponsoring novice, uh, novice either, okay? So it is just around your retail and your personal use. Is that clear? Great. There's three levels to the incentive. You have this on your chair. I don't want you to look at it till I'm finished talking. <laughs> you nearly did, because <laughs> you'll be distracted, okay? So just so you can go over it when I'm finished. The first level is you increase your business by 0.25 cc's every month. The second level, you decide to increase your retail or your personal use by 0.5 cc's every month. And the third level is that you decide to increase your business by one cc each month, okay? So that's the second thing, yeah? The third thing is you decide whichever level that you want to increase by. Again, forever don't decide anything for us. We're in charge of our business, so you make that decision. Let me see if I've got a slide there, okay. I love the name of it. It's called the Stepping Stones. Nicola and Anya showed you incentives that help you progress on the marketing plan. This is a baby step, okay? So if you are here and you want to get to here, most people freeze when the jump is too big. Would you agree? You can see yourself here, but it's too far. And sometimes for people, even the four CCs can seem like a mountain. So what I love about this is we're going to incentivize you taking baby steps to increase your business, whatever level you're at. Okay, so let's go forward. So an example of how it works, this is when it all came clear to me. So Jane is the FBO, that's her name, okay? So Jane has decided in this, you see the bottom level? She is going to go for the 0.5 cc stepping stone, okay? That's the level, level two Jane has chosen. So on the bottom level there, you'll see that in May, she required, or she did two cc's. In June, she needed to do 2.5. In July, she needed to do three. August, 3.5, we're getting the picture. So the bottom was what she needed. This is cut short, so in October, 4.5. That was her six months. She increased every single month, stepping up by 0.5, yeah? On the top level, Jane's actual CCs were as you see. So she, she achieved her goal, yeah? Okay. This is where I didn't understand. Because what happened was, when I decided I was going to do it, 
I taught I had to increase every single month. So let me show you what I taught. So on the bottom level was what Jane required to increase. Yeah? 2, 2.5, and so on, okay? So on the top level is what she actually done. So she was going for the 0.5 increase, and in May she started, that was her base month, okay? So she picked May as her base month. You can pick any single month that you want to start this incentive. There is no deadline to this, so you decide whichever month you want as your base month. So Jane decided that May was hers. But in June, something tragic happened, and she didn't even reach the two. She reached the one, which knocked her out of increasing her business. Is it over for Jane? No. She can start again in July, okay? You can pick any base month you like. Does that make sense? Okay, so you can pick any month. So if for whatever reason something happens and you haven't quite increased by your, what you said you were going to, you can start again. There's no deadline to this incentive. Forever are putting this on until they decide otherwise, but forever. Okay, so you can decide any single month when you want to increase. Is that exciting? Okay, so the other thing that I presumed was that say in May I did two, and in June, I did four, I thought I had to increase by the... You don't. So what I suggest you do is you pick your base month, you pick your base month, whichever month you're deciding you're gonna start this. So if you've had increase already, go back a bit and start your base month. If you're starting from now, take out a notepad and clearly mark your increase, so whichever level you decide. This is what I've done with my team. You take out the piece of paper and you write down what you desire to increase by, and that's your bottom line, okay? That's your minimum. You don't want to go below that. Are you with me? Are you getting me? Yeah. But what I want to stress is, if this was Jane's bottom line down the bottom, I don't want you to focus there either. The more CCs you do, the more money you make. Okay, it just means that you don't go below that, but you're always aiming higher than that. Yes, 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 yes. yes. good. So it's very, very exciting. If you duplicate this into your team and everybody's even increasing by a small amount, wait till you see the money. Okay, on top of that, of course, we have prizes. Forever we know, recognize, there's recognition on the stage. But if you just take level one, it's less than three bottles of gel extra. Who could go out today and find three new gel customers? Especially with this peaches, yeah? Okay, so that's all you're doing. You're just finding three new gel customers. How many of you have gel customers who are currently getting benefits from drinking gel? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How many? Yeah. Yes. Do you think those customers know other people who would like to look good and feel good drinking our gel? Have you asked them? No, okay. So your homework is go home and ask your great customers how they're feeling drinking the gel, and then ask them, do you know anybody else that would like to feel that good? Yes? Yes. So then you can go for your incentive. You'll easily increase your customers, okay? So you do that for six months, nine months. I'm running out of time, so I'm not gonna go through this, okay? You can see the vouchers, yeah? So on top of extra earning, you're going to get some vouchers, you're going to be on the stage. Who likes recognition? Yes. So there you go, you decide to increase by just a half a cc. What's that, two argies? Anybody got customers for argies? Yes. yes. Anybody like more customers for argies? Yes. For move, to move, keep it simple, know the product you're focusing on. For this incentive, know what you're going for, okay? It's easier to be narrowing down your focus of where you're increasing. So there you are, half a case credit. Every month for six months, nine months, you decide. Okay, level three, one cc. Aim for the... Aim for the moon and you'll hit the... I say go for the one, you'll always hit something along the way. That's just me, always aiming high. So they, look at this, look at this. Who wants an extra 250 euro? I'm not sure. Will I tell you what the vouchers is? It's for the high street. It's for the shoes, the handbags, the dresses, 
Yes, how exciting is that? Okay, it's brilliant. Now watch this. Look at this. This is the money that you can generate, the profit you can put in your pocket. This is a holiday, it's the kids going back to school. A little simple increase by 0.2, a quarter of a case credit. Would you have known that that's the extra income that could put in your pocket? No, we're business owners, and this is what I'm saying, we have to start thinking of our business as a business. If I ran a shop down the road, I would know exactly how much that tray, a can of Coke I was selling, was gonna make me in profit. So this is very exciting, and this is what you need to be focusing on. What would that pay you? What would you pay with that? What would you put in your shopping trolley with that extra money? Would you book a holiday? Have you got a wedding coming up? What have you got coming up that this could make a difference? And that's just this, this number one level. That's just the smallest one. Look, look what happens. Did you ever hear the story about, will I give you a million now, or will I give you a penny a day and increase it? Yes? Yeah, so this is what happens when you just do a little bit, but you do it consistently over time. Look at the money. This is only a half a case of credit. Look what happens when we do one. Managers, an extra thousand, 1,600. Who wants that in their pocket? That's next year's summer holiday. It's phenomenal for an extra CC. I don't know, I'm going home. Going home? Do you not want money? Who wants to help more people and help yourself at the same time? This is just fantastic. I just encourage each and every one of you to get a hold of this incentive. Jill Bourne's last month showed us the figures that if you even focus on the quarter and duplicate that into your team, she had all the figures worked out. It is massive. Every single person in your team joined either because they loved the products or they wanted to retail the products. It was always something, or they didn't, they now love the products. So every single person in your team can do this, whether they're a product user or a retailer. It's available for everybody. And that's what I love about this. Don't mind the income, that'll, that'll be well spent. But look how much fun you can have within your teams if everybody is focusing on stepping on those stones. So get creative with it, have fun with it, but put it on your goal board and start to see the results. It is very, very exciting. I am gonna be around if anybody is not sure, because sometimes when it comes to maths, I don't be sure. I'm not going anywhere today. Grab me if you're not sure, if I can clear something up for you, happily do so. But you need to get this one crystal clear. It's just phenomenal. Just get on it and start duplicating it into your teams. So thank you very much for listening. <laughs>